morning fellow farmers welcome back to Fernie Farm your one-stop destination for exciting farming adventures today we're diving back into the rustic charm of our grandpa's farm we've got a big goal ahead of us building a sawmill plus we're going to be adding some new equipment to our farming arsenal if you're ready for some farming fun hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and let's get started. It's 6 a.m. I thought I'd wake up extra early this morning just so I can get a little bit more done today. The sun's just about to rise and if you didn't see what happened in the last episode be sure to go check that out but we managed to save up enough money to purchase this Fiat 480. Now I probably should have thought this through a little bit better as I don't have a trailer. I have nothing to carry anything with, I have no other tools, I just have this tractor. So today, I think that we are going to focus on a little bit more wood chopping, so we can afford to get a trailer of some form and actually start using our tractor. So we'll get started and I'm thinking about chopping down this tree here, and maybe some others, some of these smaller ones, and because we're not going to grow any more. So I may actually focus on getting rid of as many of these small ones as possible, just so I can clear the area. Ooh, oh, I nearly dropped that on my truck then. I wasn't thinking about that. And we don't want to be doing that because, well, we can't exactly afford a new truck. We have no other way of carrying trees to and from the lumber yard either. So we've got to be extra careful here. Um, do we do something like that or do we chop it up? Hmm, it's a tricky one, especially when we're working with these thinner logs. So I might just do something like that and just fill it up with as many of these small ones as possible. Not sure just how many we'll be able to fit on, but the more the merrier. Oh, need to be careful. I keep dropping them close to my vehicle. We are due to have a new van, but... We definitely can't afford to be destroying it just yet. Because we've got so much more to do today. Yeah, I'm going to clear as much of this as possible. Right, it's just started raining as well, so it's not going to be a very bright day, unfortunately. Oh no, we've got thunderstorms too. Yeah, it's a bit windy as well. It's not the best of days to be doing this, but I've got to do it. You know, the last couple of days, it's we've had... A lot of heavy rain and we, we had a real heavy thunderstorm so I wasn't able to actually do anything unfortunately so we are in a position now where we've got to do as much as we can in the next couple of days and if you do enjoy this video be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so then you don't miss another episode we wouldn't want that now would we I don't know how many of these big trees I'm going to be able to fit on my truck before I start causing some serious damage to it. Okay, so I think our truck has just about enough on it. We might struggle getting down to the lumber yard with all of this. But we needed to get rid of all of these small trees because they're not really going to do much. And we needed a bit more of a clearing next to our farm. Oh god, this weather... Whoa! I need to be careful with this. It's a bit unstable. We may be in need of an upgrade. Obviously, once we get a trailer, we can start using our tractor. And I think that's the most important thing, is that we get to a position where we can start using our tractor for this. And even get in a plough of some form. Whoa! Um, or even just a cultivator. Maybe a cultivator will do. I am going to have to lime my field too, so... I really need to figure it all out. Wow. £3,000. That wasn't bad. I did see that there was a trailer for around £3,500. However, I would like to spend a little bit less than that so i'm going to check to see if there are any um on the internet and see if there are any second hand ones i can find for cheap 
before I do that, I am going to load up once more. I think I should... Ooh, there was a tree stump there, which I didn't see. I think, obviously, having a bit of excess cash would be perfect. And I don't really want to go indoors yet. I want to make the most of the time I've got. Right, okay, so we're fully loaded. It's... Uh, it's ten past one already, and already we have gone, whoa, already that's most of our day gone already. We're going to head off to the lumber yard and just drop these off and see how much we get for these as well, obviously. And then I'm going to nip home and grab some lunch. Oh my goodness. I think this is the biggest load we've ever put on the truck. Alright, let's see how much money we're going to make. Wow. £4,000. Now that is some good going. Already we're at £8,000. Now, yesterday, that's that's about as much as we earned all day long was £8,000. So we're doing alright already. So I'm going to go and grab some food. And whilst I'm doing that, I'm going to check the internet and see what is on the market today and see if I can get anything for cheap um, like a trailer of some form hopefully a log trailer because if we get a log trailer then we'll be able to shift these logs much faster I'm just going to nip to the loo first Ugh, that's gross well, let's have some food and whilst we're doing that we'll check out online and see just what we can find. I've just been on the phone to Peter and he was saying he's got a wood trailer for £4,000. Which I think might be the better shout. He did also mention that if we wanted to make the most out of our logging. To get a lumber mill of some form and produce some planks. Because they sell for a much higher price. Also he was, he was talking about one of his friends Edward. And he's really good at throwing up buildings. So I think we are going to think about maybe even getting that lumber mill set up ready for tomorrow. Now it's going to cost £20,000 for this lumber mill. So we are going to have to do a bunch of logging just to raise this money. And also we do need the wood trailer too. So altogether we're going to need to raise around £24,000. Okay, so we picked up our trailer, and I'm just going to head back to the farm. Right, okay, back at the farm finally. We're losing daylight very fast at the moment, so we really need to get a move on and fill up this trailer as fast as possible. I'm going to bring over my truck so I can load the smaller logs into here and make sure that I only put large logs onto the into my trailer. Because these are way too heavy to pick up. Okay, so that's my truck loaded up. Let's get my actual logging trailer filled up now. It does look like we're going to be working throughout the night. Right, so it's getting late now. It's ten past eleven. I don't think we're going to get the lumber mill today. So I am going to get a good night's sleep. And I'll just have to take these to the lumber yard in the morning. And hopefully I can get Edward to come out tomorrow and start building our lumber yard. I'm hoping that this truckload isn't too heavy. It might be. I don't know what's going on with that. Why am I turning like that? Okay, well I really don't think that this tractor is any good for what we need it for. I'm just going to leave that there for the night. I'm going to have a late dinner and then I'm going to go to bed because it's it's cracking on for midnight now and I'll see you all in the morning. Good night. Good morning everyone. Time to get all this lumber shipped off to the lumber yard. Now I'm in a bit of a predicament because I don't think that that tractor is going to be able to move all of that wood on its own. So what am I going to do? Should I sell it and get a different tractor? Or do I go and see if Peter up the road has got a tractor I could borrow just for this one trip? Hold on, I'm going to give him a call now. I've just spoke to Peter from up the road and he's got a tractor 
which he doesn't use and he's put it up for sale now he isn't desperate for the money so he said that i can have it off him and then pay him back in a couple of months time or once i've got the money for it it is sixty-five thousand pounds though so i did say to him that it might take me you know three or four months to get him the money but he said that that's fine so i am going to take him up on the deal to be honest because it seems like a really good runner he said it's only got around five hours on the clock so he hasn't really been using it so it's just been sat there in his barn doing nothing so yeah he's going to come and drop it off shortly but before he does come and drop it off let's let's see how much money i get for this truckload here so only £1,500, now that's not a lot of money at all. So we are going to have to do quite a bit of running around to get the money sorted for Peter. But I think that's a really, really nice thing of him to do, to let me have it early and then pay him back later. And that way I'll be able to get Edward to come over and build us that lumber yard in the next couple of days, I'm hoping. Maybe even today. Hold on, let me give Edward a call. So I've just spoke to Edward and he says that you can start building it today. <laughs> I've just gotta get the money back to I've just gotta get him the money by the end of the month. So we've got two more days this month. So I think I'm gonna take him up on that deal. Now I am gonna have him build it on top of where this farm is. Because I've decided for us to actually make some progress with this farm, we're really going to need some production set up as soon as possible. So I am going to start creating some wooden planks, um, which fetch a lot more money than just lumber in general. Whilst he's building it, I'm going to gather the money and, yeah, hopefully by the end of today I can sort of pay him off and actually get production in, in place. And by tomorrow we should be in a position where we should have a production set up. Alright, so I've just spoke to Peter. He's on his way. He's, he's coming to deliver the tractor right now. So we're just going to wait for him to come and arrive with the tractor. Alright, so Peter's just come along and he's just dropped off my new tractor. And it's a John Deere 7810. I think it's got 180 brake horsepower, which means we can actually, if we did want to start cultivating and stuff, like if we had the money to, this tractor would be perfect for it. It's also got a front loader attachment, which he didn't mention. Now, I think they're around £1,500 on their own, so it was 64955 in total, which, in my opinion, is a pretty damn good deal. So now that we've got this... I'm going to detach this tractor. Come on, can we move? Oh no, come on. There we go. I'm going to detach this tractor, and this will just be like my baby, my baby tractor. So I'll use this for. I'm not sure. I'm not sure anymore, to be honest. Hey, at least we've got this Jean Deere. So at least now we can really focus on getting the money rolling in. I think what I might do is, whilst I'm up at the shop. I'm going to get myself a front loader, if I can afford one. I'm not sure how much they are going to be, but once I've sold this wood, I should have enough for a front loader and um, one of the logging attachments. Edward's on his way down as well. Edward's coming down to start throwing up that lumber yard for us. He said it should only take him a day or two, so that's not bad, is it, really? So hopefully by tomorrow, we should have our production all set up and we should start making some decent money then but at least now we've got a tractor which does more than 14 miles an hour because that would take forever to drive all the way up to here whoa that was close nearly toppled over then okay let's see how much money we're gonna make wow six thousand pounds well six thousand four hundred and forty one which is really good to be honest that means one or two more loads and we will be able to pay off edward for the lumber yard and actually start getting some production in place but anyway i'm gonna purchase a front loader and a logging attachment attachment of some form i'm just gonna go and speak to the lady in here hello love um i was looking for a front loader of some form to attach to my John Deere and a logging fork please well we are officially broke we've just spent twelve thousand pounds on these 
£9,000 just on the front load attacher and £3,000 for this, which is a bit pricey, but at the same time, it's very much needed. Right, anyway, let's get all of this back to the farm. Right, okay, so we're back at the farm now. I'm going to get myself all set up to start logging and fill this trailer. Hopefully this time, because I've got this front loader and the log forks, should be able to do a couple of loads pretty fast and make that 20 grand today. Right, okay, let's give our new toy a little go. Okay, that's one piece done. There you go, that's looking good already. Okay, let's... Ooh, I need to chop that up a little bit as well. Ooh, I am attached to the trailer. Oh, come on then. There we go. Right, I think we might be able to fit one more tree on there. We'll probably be able to fit a couple more on, but... We don't want to overload it. But we need to make £20,000 today. So we can pay off Edward for building us a lumber yard. There we go. And I think I'm going to call that a day. And strap these up. Because if I stick anything any more on it's probably going to they're going to start falling off. So All right, let's get this down to the lumber cell point. But before we do, I am going to go and grab some lunch. Alright, I'll see you in a minute. Hmm, well that was lovely. Let's get this lumber sold. wonder how much we'll make this time. I reckon it'll be 8,000. Ooh, that was a good guess. 8,200. Two more of them. And we should be good for paying off Edward for building us the, the lumber mill. Where we can start processing some planks. Right, so let's get this guy loaded and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so every single log I keep putting in here keeps falling back out, so I am just gonna go and take this and see what I get for it. Right, okay, let's see just how much this is gonna grab. Come on, be good. Oh, that wasn't too bad actually, 7,000 pounds. So, one more load, and we can finally pay Edward off. I mean, I won't feel too bad about him working on it, because he's working on it right now as we speak, so... Right, okay, let's get this last load done. We need to get it done before 9pm, because that's when they shut. Right, okay, let's, let's get to work. Oh, right, well, it's another two trees down, and another load... Let's see how much this one makes us. Before we do, let's have a quick chat with Edward. So I was just talking to Edward and wow, that building has been thrown up really fast. I've not known anyone throw up a building that fast. He reckons as well that by the time I get back, it should be ready for setting up for some production of some form. So what I'm going to do is the moment I've cashed all of this in, I'm just going to throw him the 20 grand and be like, yeah, brilliant, thank you. And we could actually start making some decent money and progress with Grandpa's farm a little bit further because obviously we made the mistake of buying a tractor which didn't have enough power to do much at all. But thanks to Peter, we've now got this John Deere and also he put me in touch with Edward who is quite a cheap um, well I say cheap you know 20 grand for a wooden structure it is pretty cheap obviously he's used the wood off my land which is fine I don't mind that at all it but it is massive what he's built so I'm looking forward to actually getting some wooden planks chopped up um, so then we can actually start making some decent money Alright, okay, let's see how much this one's going to cost us, eh? Oh, and they are still open. I thought they closed at 8, but I, I checked online and it is 9pm they close. Perfect, there we go, £23,000. I'm just going to go into my banking app and transfer Edward the money right now. 
he did say that it'll be finished as well so I'm gonna I'm gonna look forward to seeing that in a moment right then so I've just paid off Edward and yeah we can go and check out our new sawmill I'm looking forward to it I can see it already look at that wow it's huge yeah we don't have a farm no more but we do have this great big thing here and although a farm would produce food for us I think having this is more important right now oh he's even laid down some concrete for us too that's very nice of him that wow look at that okay so I'm gonna get my vehicles into the barn for the night and that's a wrap Fernie farmers thanks to Edward's hard work we now have a sawmill and Pete was kind enough to loan us a tractor to move the lumber as our fiat just isn't up to the task we hope you enjoyed this journey at Grandpa's farm. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and share your thoughts in the comment section. Remember, every like, share and comment helps us grow and keeps our farming dreams alive. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, keep farming and keep dreaming. Bye bye.